The 2016 reboot of Doom is one of the best controlling shooters I've ever played with some of the most satisfying weapons and most engaging movement mechanics. That sentence sums up a large majority of why I adore this game and constantly want to play it again, but I've kind of set an expectation at this point in the series that these segments will be a little bit longer than this, so, uh, how are you today? You gone to any cool clubs lately? Just kidding. I hate clubs. Making a great game takes more than just making a great mechanical experience. This modern take on Doom nailed realizing the original aesthetic seemingly effortlessly. The enemies are just the right balance of scary and hammy with over-the-top animations, attacks, and very significantly for this game, kill sequences. The glory kill system was perhaps the best new addition to this iteration of Doom, selling that hyper-violent, turbo-testosterone kill fest that people want Doom to be. Best of all, they're just fun to fight, with in-your-face tactics that will have you constantly rethinking your strategies, exploring potential weak points, and feeling like an unstoppable maniac once you get into your flow state. Flow states are kind of the name of the game with this Doom. Always moving, always shooting, always some flashy piece of stimulus to captivate you. The upgrades feel exciting and powerful, the soundtrack and visual presentation pumps your blood better than any workout will, and the game just doesn't beat around the bush with any nonsense that would get in the way of its masculine power fantasy. No complaints with this one, I'm still kinda waiting for the rest of the shooter industry to catch up with what the modern Doom series has been pulling off recently.